Okay guys, get your calculator for me. Type in 340 divided by 440, press equals, turn it into a decimal, and if that is what you would have written on your exam paper, then you've just got the wrong answer. And the reason it's the wrong answer is because of these little dots here. Can you see that? These little dots here, over the top of that 7 and that 2. These are things that do not exist in physics. We do not do reoccurring in physics. It's something the math department has made up and it winds me up no end. This was an actual question on the 2014 P1 paper. I've just given it to my year 10s. I've just made them do the paper and every single person has written down 0 0.772. What you need to do is press the little SD button again and you'll see it comes up as 0 0.727. So when they want you to round it to three significant figures, this two actually turns into a three. So the correct answer is 0 0.773 not 0 0.772, which is what your calculator says to you. The whole reason I wrote a book about this in the first place was because of mistakes like this. In the exam, you're going to trust your calculator, and you shouldn't. Your calculator is lying to you. Your calculator is a maths tool, and we are scientists. You need to think like a scientist. In my book, I have loads of examples for you with answers and videos working you through the answers. So if you would have written 0 0.772 as the answer, please remember recurring does not exist in physics and go and buy my book. It'll help.